extraordinary things about True Story Soul Live is the number of times that people stand up here and are so disarmingly honest yeah. about not their failures. Um, and um, I'm sure I speak for everybody when, um, when I say that I was laughing out loud because I too failed in all sorts of areas of my life. And uh, it's actually quite uh, comforting to know that I'm not the only person who, who does that. So, Linda, thank you so much. Uh, and, and, and talk about pulling something out of the fire. I mean, she's literally, she's got her phone there and she's kind of, oh, I'll make some notes. I'll come up with something. This is 15 minutes before we start. Amazing. <laughs> Thank you, Eva. Thank you very much indeed. Now then, um, uh, it's very rarely a family affair, true stories told life, but it's almost a family affair this evening because I'm just about to introduce to you uh, my godson, but perhaps more importantly, he is the son of Mr. David Clancy, who some of you will know is a, a pretty accomplished musician. But it's not about him tonight, it's about the next generation. Um, and what I would say by way of introduction is that, uh, that uh, this young man and his friend, uh, they both go to Hurstby Point College, um, they both enjoy music, um, and they can often be found on the streets of Brighton busking, obviously, once they've completed all of their homework to the very, <laughs> very highest standard that one would expect from one who's paying 25 grand a year. Um, we're, we're delighted that, uh, that they've taken the plunge to come and be with us this evening, so uh, please give a warm welcome to Finn and James. Hello. <laughs> I'm James. I'm Ben. Um, uh, of course, like, um, we, bu we busked in Brighton and we're going to tell you a story of when we were busking in Brighton one time. Right, um, we barely consider ourselves musicians. We were busking for about like, a month or something, so we're definitely not storytellers. <laughs> we'll give it a shot anyway. Yeah. Um, so, we were, we were doing um, our first set in Brighton. Uh, we're below Churchill Square, if you know where that is. But it's like there's a few pubs and um, and restaurants, and there's quite a lot of people sitting down. They listen, and they form a crowd, and and so we finished this set. It was quite a good one, and we we were walking to our next set, and uh, and when this tall, thirty-year-old man approached us, and um, so he said, "Excuse my accent, because he was Russian." He said. Hello, my name is Nikolai. You two sound very good. Would you like to meet me here in Alva? I will pay you a lot of money. So we thought, like, some strange guy offering his money. <laughs> you know. But, um, yeah, we decided to beat him. <laughs> so, we, so we went, but before that, we went to our second set and we did quite well there. We came back at the greed meeting place in time. And um, we we he asked for a few songs, and so so we played we played a few songs, and we and he um he, he chose one he chose one of them, to and the, we were gonna sing it. We yeah. Um, play it. Then he asked us him to follow us, and at this point you know <laughs> some change asked him to follow us now falls teeny bit weird, but we went with him anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so um. Yeah, he took us outside Petimanje in Brighton and he gave us like a group huddle kind of thing and he says, okay boys, you'll stand there and play the song you played to me do not mess up it, it. Look, look at me, do not mess up, okay? So no question. So we went into Petimanje, stood where we had to stand, which was quite strict and then, so, um, and then uh, we started playing our, our song and, um, and then all the workers there were uh, looking at us and smiling at us and, you know, winking at us and <laughs> we were wondering what they, like, they know something that we don't know and it was really weird and but then we saw this, like, this gorgeous lady and she was, um, she was, she was, she was working there, she was, she was stacking some sandwiches on the shelf and um, Nikolai, uh, he, he, w he walked up to the lady and then um, pointed, pointed behind, beh behind her and um, she looks round, and then she, nothing's wrong. And she turned back to find that Nikolai was on uh, one knee with his hand out with a ring. And then, yeah. <laughs> that's the point. Um, if he was crying, she was crying. I was feeling a bit cheery. <laughs> <laughs> it was just so romantic, and you know, once a lifetime experience. And 
So um, we're going to play the song that we played today. <laughs> 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 right. You're growing up. Like, yeah. 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 My baby don't mess me around because she loves me so and this I know for sure But does she really want to but can stand to see me walk out the door I can't stand to fight the feeling cause the thought alone is killing me right now Thank God for mom and dad for sticking to you together Cause we don't know how You got it, oh, you think you got it You got it, just don't get it So it's nothing at all We get together, oh, we get together The separate's always better when there's beams involved But what they say is Nothing lasts forever The mummies, the mummies, the mummies Love the exception So why, 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 why Are we so in denial When we know we're not happy Yeah. 